The D4 DMX Dimmer Pack, part of the NSI line of dimmer packs offered by Leviton. The older version might just read as D4 DMX without any extension. The modern versions are the MD3 and MD5. This video will focus mostly on the modern MD3 and MD5 packs. No matter the logo on your pack, there is no difference between the two D4 DMX packs. Unlike most dimmer packs, these D4 DMX units can be controlled at the dimmer pack. This is a very handy feature if you are stuck with a console that has just broken. The majority of the time, a console will be used and in control over the D4 DMX dimmer pack. Also, the majority of the time, your pack will be either the MD3 or MD5 version. It is these two versions we will start with during this video. Some mention of the early D4 DMX will be discussed toward the end of the video. Please note, programming and operation instructions are included on the back of the dimmer pack. There is no reset or default step for any of the D4 DMX packs. There is a segment display test. With the dimmer pack powered off, hold the mode button down and then turn on the pack. After a few seconds, let go of the mode button and watch the segment display test rotate through its motions. Ensure that all segments are working. Once finished, turn the pack off, then turn it back on normally without holding any buttons down. Notice, each time the D4 DMX pack is turned on, the starting address is displayed. Normal starting addresses are A001, a005, A009, and so on. The D4 DMX pack can have a start address of any number needed up to 512 when using DMX and up to 128 channels when using Microplex. When pressing a button, it is easy to double press the button and end up beyond where you intended to be. Sometimes it is easier and quicker to just cycle power to the pack and start over. While viewing the start address screen, pressing the menu button once should change the readout to CH04, four channel mode. This is if the pack is set up as a normal four channel pack. The D4 DMX can be set up for one, two, or four channel mode. In four channel mode, each channel operates as its own individual channel. Fader 1 will control channel 1. Fader 2 will control channel 2, and so on. In channel 01 mode, all four dimmer outputs will be controlled from channel 1. In channel 02 mode, fader channel 1 will control dimmer channels 1 and 2, and fader channel number 2 will control dimmer channels 3 and 4. Using the up and down arrow buttons will be the control over changing between 1, 2, or four channel mode. Practiced and repeated mode and menu button pressing will eventually get you to where you need to be. Most of the time, when the starting address is on the screen, pressing the mode button once will take you to P01 and the dimmer channels will start to blink on then off in a moving chase mode. Normally, this can be seen right away unless changes were made to the pack earlier to slow the speed down or have the chase dimmed all the way off. Pressing menu once should take you to the speed of the moving chase scene. This might be shown as SP90 on the screen. Using the up and down arrows will control the desired speed of the chase scene. Feel free to experiment. Pressing the menu once again should take you to the intensity of the chase scene. This will be shown as D100 if at full intensity. Using the up and down arrow buttons once again, but this time for intensity. This is the same area to set an intensity to a channel if desired. If you set channel 1 to intensity 20%, then use a controller to increase the lights to a brighter setting. There are no control issues, but when lowering the lights, the controller will not be able to lower the lights less than the set 20% for channel 1. 
Now press the Mode button until you see CL00 on the screen. Press Menu once again and you should see 1000 or 1001 or 1REL on the screen. If 1REL is on the screen, then Channel 1 is in Relay Mode. This means on and off only, with no dimming. Occasionally, tech support does get a call about a D4 DMX changing itself to non-dim mode across one or all four channels. You might not ever see this, but if you do, it might have been after lightning, a surge, a spike, or some weather-related issue. The packs go back into dimming mode very easy. If a D4 DMX pack does not change into the mode you want, there might be a hardware issue and not a settings issue. To change this channel back to dimming mode, use the down arrow to 1000. Some versions have 1001 displayed for full off. Other versions have 1000 displayed as their full off. If you are needing channel 1 set to relay mode, use the up arrow to 1REL. Pressing the menu button will take you to 2001 for channel 2 control. Menu button again for channel 3 and so on. After checking all four channels for dim or non-dim mode, you can simply press the menu button a couple of times to see how your settings have saved on each channel. The original D4 DMX without the MD3 or MD5 extension will operate the same way but will have less options. The segment display test is shorter and does not rotate through all segments individually. The option for 1, 2, or 4 channel mode is available, but maybe not the ability to set channels to non-dim on some of the original older packs. Also, some original D4 DMX packs only have two connections, one DMX in and one DMX out, while other original D4 DMX packs will have the standard four connections. Most MD3 packs will have 3-pin microplex in and out and 3-pin DMX in and out. Most MD5 packs will have 3-pin microplex in and out and 5-pin DMX in and out. Microplex communication can also be known as MPX and is always 3-pin. Please keep in mind that Microplex and DMX are two completely different communication protocols and do not speak to each other. The D4 DMX dimmer pack will not act as a converter. This pack does not convert DMX to Microplex or convert Microplex to DMX. Tech support does occasionally receive calls from users trying to run the DMX with a Microplex console or run the 3-pin Microplex with a 3-pin DMX console this will not work. If only making this connection mistake for a short while, there will not be any permanent damage to the DMX portion of the system. But, if leaving the Microplex and DMX connected for hours, this could potentially end up hurting the DMX side of the equipment. The Microplex has 15 volts DC involved with its communication. The DMX has no voltage involved with its communication. The microplex portion in this example setup runs no risk of being damaged. A 3-pin to 5-pin adapter might be needed. Please make sure which style of adapter is needed. They make every style, so order correct. Many times, a 5-wire cord is customized with a 3-pin connector at one end and a 5-pin connector at the other. When creating this custom cable, pin 1 will go to pin 1, 2 will go to 2, Pin 3 will go to 3. Pins 4 and 5 will not be used. Please use a continuity tester to check that pin 1 goes to pin 1 only and there are no shorts in your custom made cable. The internal fuse values are 1 amp, 250 volt, fast acting with a length of 20 millimeters not an overly standard fuse. Each individual pop-out breaker is 15 amps. Unlike the rest of our dimmer line, Leviton does not sell parts for the D4 DMX dimmer packs. The rise time is unpublished, 
but it is approximately 75 microseconds. Another problem, seldom seen, is a channel that will not turn on or will not turn off. Each channel has two triacs, one triac for ramping the lights up, one triac to ramp the lights down. If one of these two triacs ever fails, that channel will either be stuck on or stuck off with no control. Contact Leviton's tech support to set up repair service if needed. Leviton's tech support team can be reached by calling 1-800-959-6004 Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific. Many helpful videos can be found at leviton.com videos.